Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Fishing with Sea Bass. In this video, we're going to be fishing on the Wainuchi River with my awesome fishy friend Austin Hosley and his really good buddy Andy. Austin will be giving us a tutorial on bobber dogging for winter steelhead and both giving me and Andy rowing lessons on how to row his awesome clacky grab trip boat. So check it out. What's up fishy friends? Sea bass here out in the cold dark morning out on Elkai with my awesome fishy friend Austin Hosley hey. right there. We got his drift boat out. We're gonna go hit up the Wainuchi River for some winter steelhead. The Mekong River. Mekong River. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna we have a whole bunch of stuff to try out. I have all my worms, my WFO worms I'm gonna try out. So hopefully we can go slay some winter steel. I have my friend's um my friend's friend or my friend's son he's out there too so we'll look out for him too yep we're gonna pick up we're gonna pick up my friend andy at my house we're gonna have two guys we're gonna go over some tactics that anybody can use i'll show you the rigging that we're using while we're on the water mm -hmm. um i'm also gonna be instructing sea bass on how to row the boat and my friend andy on how to row the boat so there'll be a tutorial on that and on how to then fish your partner in the front of the boat or in the back of the boat where they're casting in and how to control boat on that and then we might even do a little segment on how to pull plugs or at least how to set them out and a little rundown of what we're doing while i pull plugs mm -hmm. awesome gonna be fun down in the water let's do it all right let's go hey, hey, get, 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 no trouble. Trouble. I, I, I didn't come here to try to please nobody. We didn't come here to start no trouble. But it always seems to find my way. I ain't really got a lot to prove. Yeah, keep it moving that way. We didn't come here to start no trouble. But it always seems to find my way. I ain't really got a lot to prove. Yeah, keep it moving that way. We didn't come here to start no trouble. But it always seems to find my way. I ain't really got a lot to prove. All right, so up here, we have a whole bunch of yarnies and stuff rigged up. We have eggs up here. I have a bobber rod with a WFO Nightmare Jig on there. We also have a bobber rod right there. We have, um, we have, we have plug rods on the side. And I'm going to start fishing, so. Yeah, let's hope we catch a fish. Kinds. All right, so our first little drift through. Got one bite. Andy missed one. Yeah, Andy missed I one. Names, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're stopped here. We're uh, retying a couple rigs that we lost, trying out new colors. How many have you caught? None, because I'm rowing. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> but you still got a long ways to go. You do have a long way to go. So we're gonna go over um, how to set up a bobber dogging setup for bobber dog drift fishing steelhead. Uh, this Andy is gonna pass me his braided line here when he's got that. Um, I've got one all the way done here that I'll show you. This is a two rig setup. So this is a BNR soft bead. There's a snell knot with an egg loop there. The yarn kind of pulled out of it. And then I've got about a 20 inch leader to a yarn ball that makes a bait loop and some cured eggs. And then about a 30 inch leader or 28 inch leader to a clasp swivel and a weight. And then I've got the bobber dogging bobber there. And then you come down here into the line and right here I have a bobber stop. So what I know is when I cast my presentation out in the run, right. that I know that it's, that much here, but it's okay, that uh, when I cast it out there, the weight is gonna sink to the bottom and the float is gonna be, so that the weight's here, the float is gonna be over here, which is downstream of the weight and that blunted end is gonna be pulling that weight along and pulling these downstream with it, okay? And the way that works, I'm going to cast this out here and we'll 
we'll uh, watch it bounce along. So here's a cast right out there, right on that edge. Now the weight hit the bottom and it's upstream of that bobber. And now see that bobber is pointed downstream and it's dragging that weight along. That's what it should be doing. It's a little bit slow. You want that to be moving through that current at just under the speed of the current. And then we'll reel that back up. And that's how that double rig works. To get that double rig to spread out where they don't snag on each other, when you're casting, you can chuck it out there and then stop your reel by doing this. Let me throw this out there. Whoop, and then stop it. And what that did is right before it hit the water, the weight stopped and your leaders shot out ahead of it, straightening that out. There was a bite. I missed that. That looked like that was a bobber down. That's what I get for. That was, nice push for the bike. that was a nice heavy rock in there, but yeah. So that's a basic bobber dog and rig. When you're bobber dog and this is a 10 foot six rod, it doesn't matter what 10 foot six rod you use. 10 foot six, eight to 17 pound, a spinning rod. There's braided line, and then monofilament bumper. And I'm going to show you the the knot to attach those two. What you want is this bobber stop here. This is a Bomac bobber stop on your line. You want that right about here at this first eyelet between the two. Because what that does is that puts about six to eight feet between the weight and where that bobber is going to touch this. And that's important because most steelhead runs are about two to ten feet deep. And you're going to fish that six to eight foot band of water. That way you know right where that's working directly under that and slightly upstream. And you know exactly how deep you are. And if you've got two people fishing like I do today, Sebastian and Andy, then if both rods are set up the same, I know right where their gear is working at all times. So I can direct them to cast where those uh, those traveling lanes are, where those holding spots are for fish, and their gear is going to work through those spots the exact same way. And uh, if they pick up the bait, then they pick up the bait. If they pick up the smaller presentation, they pick up the smaller one. With the river current today, uh, and the conditions we got on the Mekong River where we're fishing, and everybody's fishing, um, we've got some stained water that's moving pretty quick. It's got a nice clip to it. There are fish here. People are catching lots of fish. Um, I think the bigger presentation with eggs is going to be best. It's bright and it smells good, uh, and the water's a little cold. All right, so let's do the demonstration of how to tie a leader for you. that knot. So this is a, a leader, leader right there, great. And then where's your uh, uh, line there? Okay, got it. Okay, open that up. Okay. okay, this is how to attach braid to mono. I'm gonna got two ends. Let me get to the end of this mono. So this is tw this is like 30 pound braid, 20 pound mono. I'm gonna pinch the two together like that, making an X, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a nice long chunk of this and I'm gonna cross it over like that. So now this is looped around and now this is my tag end, this is my bumper line. I'm now going to, this is gonna wrap over and around and spin around. And we're gonna do that with both of these lines once, twice, <laughs> Three, and with the the diameter of the um, line here, of the uh, braided line here, is tends to be thinner than the diameter of the monofilament because it's braided pieces of fabric. So I want to do like a good five, six wraps here to make a big hard knot for this to then butt up to. I don't need to do so many with the monofilament. I do one, two, so I did six with the braid. I'm gonna do four with the mono. That's 20 pound Iser line mono. There we go, I'm gonna snug that up. I'm gonna wet that so that it doesn't cinch down and cut that. And you see how these two knots pulled tight on each other? Snug that up. So now this line is pulling against this knot and this line, this mono line is pulling against this knot. And now you've attached your bumper section to your braid. There we go. Yeah, okay, this. Well, if you get a good spot, I'm going to go get out there. Yeah, go ahead. Perfecto. Andy, get in there. Grab a dog. That's a piece of here. Sorry, you're going to do it. 
heroin squirt. <laughs> I'm just letting you know I'm heroin squirt. Fish. Right there. He's been like, take, get the sand out of his little. All right, so we made it down pretty much like the first good section of the river. Bobber dogging with some yarn, eggs, and some corky and yarn. We got, got a couple solid bites, yeah. Otherwise, nothing. We talked to one guy, he got one. So, otherwise, we're chugging along the river, having fun. Anything on plugs? How about today? Alright, we're taking a break here on the river. Get something to eat, retie what we need. Had another take I had another nice takedown. But there's some people fishing on the bank over there. Lots of boats today. Over here somewhere. There's just a ton of boats out here. Like fishing everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's one of those days where the, the word of the mouth is Should have been here yesterday They were running through Yeah, yesterday I heard from everyone was killing it But Not today Not today Yep, that sucks but Not yet Not yet Not yet We're only halfway done So we're going to tell these fish that we've officially gone and done enough fishing And now we are switching to catching Yes, so we are catching. catching we got all the practice in, <laughs> product testing is done for the day. And now it's time for catching. It's also time for a roast beef sandwich. Yes. <laughs> you all mad now, Steve. No, not really. I'm getting fish jealous. So, Alright. Like, we just <laughs> We just did a good section of the drift. Austin let me row, so I got a little bit of rowing lessons in he taught me some of the basic stuff how to maneuver around ob river hazards and stuff so got some practice in that was my first time rowing on the river and i just got a message from les morales and they have two fish and we don't so yep we're gonna keep trying we still haven't hit the diversion dam yet which would be fun Going down, wee! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, yes, please. It, what? I I'm good. <laughs> okay. But we're gonna keep fishing. We're here for good music and positive vibes. If you ain't with the movement, you can move it outside. In my own thing, moving. Stop with the assuming. Why you all up in my beers? Where we what I'm doing? Tim, girl, why you looking so fine? And every time I see you, I lose my mind. We can take it to the holler, got the Denali on chrome. She clean up nice and love it, girl. Bro. Get him up, we about to start it up. Yeah, yeah, so we can know get down. 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 Get
you can't rock slow Raise the roof off of the place into the top blow I'm sorry for the trouble, don't call the cops though And if you do, um, it was not a joke I got my first fish of the day. <laughs> Stick fish. Take a picture with the leader. Yes. No, it doesn't have any extra. Doesn't have any extra sticks on it. See, look, it's clipped right there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> an awesome time trying to fish for some steelhead on the Wainuchi River today. Mekong River. Mekong River. Yeah. It's a universal river. Universal river. Hit a whole bunch of spots, Public had a water. whole bunch of takedowns, had one fish absolutely destroy one of the WFL worms I was using and like ripped off the tail. Otherwise, pretty slow day. Pretty slow day. We ran into a wall, which was fun. <laughs> um, I got some rowing learning. Andy got some rowing learning. So... You benefit from this. Remember, always make sure you have all of your safety equipment on board, life jackets and anything else you need to operate your vessel accordingly for Washington State law, because they do have law enforcement down here checking every boat on the boat ramp as you try to take it out of the water. Yep. Make Thanks. sure you're being safe out in the water. Stay safe, have fun.